C.J. Stroud, just a super interesting personal story of how Ohio State got this California quarterback late in the process to be part of this 2020 recruiting class. Hey, try the texts. 14-day free trial, $3.99 a month at cleveland.com. Nathan, Stephen, Doug. Stephen, we talked on National Signing Day with C.J. Stroud when he was among the 14 guys we could talk to. You also talked to C.J. in the recruiting process. Just the idea that he's here, that this happened, what sense did you get from him now that he's at Ohio State? And just what sense did you get from him during the process of, like, why this happened this way? Yeah, this has been a very fast whirlwind of a process for C.J. Stroud. There's actually a video online. Like, when he originally was going through the competition to try to make it in Elite 11, he talked about how, like, he kind of sensed that he didn't have a shot of getting in there. And then all of a sudden, somebody drops out, so there's an open spot, and so they call him, and he's, like, FaceTiming his mother, excited that they, they, they brought him in. He didn't care that the fact that, like, he's replacing somebody, so he's a second-thought guy. But, like, I asked him straight up, so, like, in your mind, it was like, I know I'm good enough. I just need to, like, get in a position where I can show everybody else, and then you'll believe that, too. And that's exactly what he did at Elite 11. He won the competition, and all of a sudden, over the next six months, he, like, he said he didn't have any offers outside of the Pac-12 and the Big, t- and the big, t- and the big 12. He, big 10s weren't even looking at him until that Elite 11. Now, all of a sudden, he was getting offers from all over the place, and now, all of a sudden, he's an Ohio State quarterback because Ryan Dix texted him. This has all been a very fast-moving process, all because somebody dropped out of Elite 11, and he got an opportunity. So, in his, this is like... He's, it's, it's overwhelming, but it's like at the same time satisfying because he knew that all he had to do was get an opportunity and he could make this happen. It's interesting. I think from the Ohio State perspective, the fact that Jack Miller battled injuries mm-hmm. and there was maybe just some uncertainty there probably opened the door for C.J. Stroud. If Jack Miller has a healthy junior and senior year, maybe they just end up with one and C.J. Stroud never has this opening here. Nathan, when you have a quarterback, Jack Miller was committed for a super long time. C.J. Stroud was late in the process. What effect do you think that has once they get here, right? That they're both they're recruiting, the, the situations in recruiting that got them here were so different. What does it mean now that they're at Ohio State? Well, I think the way that we look at it, the way the fans look at it, sometimes they see a guy rising, they see a guy getting more stars, higher rating, all that stuff. And and they probably look at that in a different way than the players themselves look at it. I think it's interesting, though, hearing that kind of story, it, the guy he starts to remind me of a little bit is the other guy on the Ohio State roster in Justin Fields because and it, for, for Stroud it happened even later. But that was kind of the part of the story of Justin Fields was that he was a guy that early in his career, he, he hadn't really grown yet. He wasn't getting he wasn't going to showcases as much in summer because he was a baseball guy part of the time too or even more than part of the time sometimes. And he didn't have some of that recruiting moment momentum and finally when it came it was just like this snowball rolling downhill and and here he is and it's gonna be interesting to see if if Stroud can kind of follow that same trajectory is he was this a thing that was supposed to have happened all along and it just finally caught up to it that he he got this momentum and now he's grown into a a, a true prospect at that position we'll we'll see but he, he currently obviously has some momentum and maybe there's some confidence that comes along with that It's interesting, probably the three best quarterbacks in California all went somewhere else, Clemson, Alabama, and Ohio State. I think if USC and UCLA had their stuff together, C.J. Stroud might be at one of those schools. They also, I think they were late on him. I mean, it's it's amazing how California's blowing some of this stuff, but it was just interesting to hear him say it here at Ohio State. I think he's probably said it before, but he said when he got that first text from Ryan Day and that Ryan Day was the initial contact, I think Ryan Day was getting word from the Ohio State receivers at the uh, opening that, like, hey, this guy's really good, and he said, like, it, it put him on his knees. The C.J. Stroud said, like, once he got that text from Ryan Day, he said, like, I knew my life had changed. That, like, that was a big deal for him. Sort of what you talked about, it, it makes you realize, maybe not even necessarily, like, hey, I'm going to Ohio State, but it's like, hey, I'm arriving. Now the guy from Ohio State, it's not just my side of the country that's looking at me. And here he is. So I think it, it, there's, a, there's a lot of interest in this quarterback battle, and I think there are seem like very – not that Ohio State fans don't root for every Buckeye, but these are two kids who are going to battle it out. But, like, C.J. Stroud's path to get here is really interesting, and, like, it's going to be so interesting to see how he develops. Because, again, he was sort of a late riser, and will he carry that momentum into this competition with Jack Miller? Nathan, Stephen, Doug, hey, listen to Buckeye Talk, by the way. It's very popular. It's a podcast every Wednesday. And keep watching these videos from Cleveland.com.